Welcome back to the channel. I say back, it might be your first time. Welcome to the channel. Yes, I'm Alison, based in the Netherlands, or Holland actually, North Holland. And the problem is with Dutch springtimes, they're normally sunny, filled with flowers, a joy. And then there was this year. Yeah. The rain set in and it didn't leave. So I decided to do that for it and headed south. So, geared up for the Grosslochner in Austria. I went down to the Europort and met up with Corinna, who appeared to be coming with the police escort. <laughs> Not sure why, never got round to that. <laughs> I normally ride solo. There are several different reasons for that. However, um, this time I'm riding with Corinna and Corinna's decided that there are a couple of places en route, well not necessarily en route, but in the general direction um, that we're going in, that uh, she needs to visit or wants to visit, so um, I'm allowing Corinna to take the lead here and uh, it's good as well. She's getting more and more confident we're only in there to win. Uh, and uh, we'll be heading to a place called Altena. has rained, uh, there are puddles in places, but we are getting dry and I'm very glad about that because, you know, you can it's not that you can cause straight less, but it just means you can enjoy the ride more if it's not raining. This is one of the first stops coming up, somewhere that you really recognise this from early. we're not seeing it at its best. The Rhine is full. It's oh my great. God, fancy seeing you here. Right, all this way. <laughs> right. Yeah, and now seeing the result of all the rain that we've been having. Uh, Germany's got flooding in quite a few places. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of countries have this year. Thankfully, this wasn't too deep and too long. 
managed to get through it without any problems at all. And it's all these little things that make it all part of the adventure. And it's a good experience, you know? I did check water out for depth before riding through it, by the way. Uh, only that was not caught on film. <laughs> I didn't have my wellies with me. Um, my routes are general. Uh, you know where you have to be and by what date. And uh, you ride as far as you want to ride that day and then you book. <laughs> Gorgeous. Hello. Hello, hello. Lovely, lovely. This is my third time at the Cross Partner event in Austria, and I haven't ridden the same route twice yet. Also, not between Altminster, which is where the event tent is, and the Gross Lochner itself. There just aren't that many roads and I always seem to find a new one. Wonderful. Riding these kind of roads is really what it's about for me. Um, not too much about the destination. Sometimes. It's usually about the road getting there. That's where the biggest part of the enjoyment comes from for me. Always never been different. People sometimes ask me why I don't stop at more places and because I don't want to stop, you know. Look at some of these roads, they're just gorgeous. And this is what you remember about the ride, it's not how quickly you got there or what posters you saw at the side of the road, it's about this. This is what it's all about for me. And of course, what you're not getting from this the smells, what you smell, it's rain and you smell that back in the trees, you know, or the grass is, is fresh. You can't explain. It's all part of the ride. You're much more part of the landscape when you ride, when you're exposed to the air. smells do change. Suddenly it's dinners or coffee you can smell or a local factory and, and it changes just as quickly back when you go back into the trees. I decided to show Corinna waterfall or actually the non-flowing waterfall that I got to last year by riding up the mountain. Um, this pathway, uh, I know it well, only somebody explained it. Got so far, I couldn't get any further, so that was the end of that. And going around the other way, I couldn't reach it either. So, um, as much as I love this little area, it wasn't quite the way I wanted it to end.
And then there's the event itself, Gross Glockner. I say this is my third time at the event now. And uh, I had a very interesting route getting here, including another national park that you had to pay to get into. But wow, that was something I will be uh, making a little clip about later. Well worth it. And this lady, it must be her designated job every year to take tickets for the Gross Glockner for the Spider Rally. Uh, she's had a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same lady, that's the third time that I've seen that lady. Um, timing's a thing. I like to film, as you're aware. Um, but this is my preferred view. Nothing in front of me and nothing behind me. Um, and when you know how busy it is on, on the mountain on such a day, there are more uh, events happening, including a scooter rally. Uh, better than tractors, for anybody that's been here before, they know what I'm talking about. You will eventually catch up with them, but it's just, this is my idea of paradise. allowed to overtake it's not a question of oh yeah they've got loads of room to overtake uh, they, there are boards up everywhere where there are places where you're not allowed to overtake even if you've got the room or you think you've got the room um, the roads on the cross park are actually fairly wide compared to other mountain passes I've ridden This is a familiar sight, going up inside to the top platform. Uh, you go in spirals all the way around. Uh, I've never counted it. I think it's at least five times around uh, to get up there. Uh, but we got access to the top plateau for the Grosglona. The view uh, that anybody in Altmanster knows. And the, the nicest thing I think about any of these rallies is getting to get together with people that you haven't seen in a year, or uh, maybe you have, you know, a couple of them I've seen on my travel. It's always great to get together with everybody. <laughs> not forgetting our one this who was uh, on a bit of a challenge of her own having ridden the spider not very long but to the event so well done this <laughs> come on then i'm 
Setting. and it basically it didn't stop and it continued through the night and through the next day and I just decided that um, I was going to take my friends in Slovenia up on their offer to come and visit them and that's what I did I headed south <laughs> 